Alabama suspect allegedly kidnapped woman forced her to marry him in bizarre ceremony. A Coden man is accused of sexually assaulting a woman at gunpoint, then forcing her to marry him in a bizarre ceremony. It happened Friday. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office arrested 30 year old, 37 year old Roy Clowder. First off, I would like to say I don't think it's this woman's fault, not at all, for being a nice, kind, genuine person who just wanted to help someone out. We need more people like her in this world. And let's be honest with each other. He looks like a bum. She probably figured if all he needs is a ride, it's the least she can do. But I wouldn't have minded doing a story where she ran his filthy ass over either. Go roll tide and left him as a crimson smudge on the asphalt before finding out what type of person he was rather than after going through such a nightmarish ordeal. An Alabama man is behind bars after he allegedly kidnapped and sexually assaulted a woman he pretended to marry. Police say I've caught some wild stories. That's what I do. I do wild stories, but this one is definitely unique. Roy Lee Clowder, 37, was charged with first degree sexual abuse, first degree kidnapping, and first degree robbery, according to Mobile County Metro. Jail records. A woman driving on State Route 188 between Dolphin Island Parkway and Bellingrath Road Friday evening came close to hitting 37 year old Roy Clowder, who was standing in the middle of the road. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office says Clowder pulled a gun on the woman when she asked if he was okay and forced his way into her car. Just to add a little bit more clarity, because I looked at about four or five news sources and none of them are uniform with each other. It was driving me crazy. But NBC says that the only reason she stopped their car in the first place was because she almost hit him. And that leads me to believe that maybe he was fishing for someone to stop their car so he can either rob them or do something similar to what he did to her. Clowder, who was allegedly under the influence of narcotics at the time, gee, what a shock, then reportedly took them to a church for a makeshift wedding. At some point, they stopped at a church and he made her recite wedding vows as if they were getting married just sick mobile county sheriff paul birch told fox 10 news the suspect then allegedly sexually assaulted the victim and drove them around mobile county fox 10 reported some twisted consummation of their fake marriage birch told the local news outlet that the victim stayed calm and memorized locations during the kidnapping she was actually able to keep in cell phone contact with a friend and was able to give updates on what was happening and updates on her whereabouts she also recorded the wedding to show law enforcement later. After the kidnapping, the family realized that she was missing and called law enforcement, the sheriff said. That was a pretty heads up play by the family because how many relatives would just think that, hey, so-and-so is out and about, so-and-so is out doing this, they're grown, so-and-so is out doing that. They'll come back whenever they come back and they wouldn't really expect that the worst had happened. Clowder let her go after he was contacted by law enforcement. Clowder has an extensive criminal history in Mobile County going back to an assault charge in 2004. He's been charged numerous times with domestic violence and in April was charged with felony probation violation. There you have it kids. Roy Lee Crowder. Tell me what you think.